Hello and welcome to my channel. Now, we can't go far from home, so I'm here in Huddersfield, in my hometown, and uh, just going for a morning stroll, and I'm glad that you've joined me, or I would be all by myself. In this vlog, we're going to talk about my new uh, lightweight, ultra lightweight uh, sleeping bag, which is the Van Gogh 200 Pro. So if you're new to my channel, let me give this vlog a little bit of context for you. And uh, also, consider subscribing. Uh, I'm doing the St. Bees to Robin Hood's Bay coast to coast in September this year, hopefully. And I've been collecting uh, advice from you guys, and I thank you for that. And uh, also, all the equipment that I'm going to need. And I say all the equipment, I've collected a hell of a lot of equipment. And uh, most of it I don't need. So I've started to cut down the uh, weight of my backpack. I'll get back to that later on. So why do I need camping gear to do the coast to coast? You can stop in uh, hostels and uh, bed and breakfasts and uh, pubs. Uh, so uh, why do I need the camping gear? The reason is I want to solo wild camp all the way. Now I know that's very ambitious, a lot of you have said that's ambitious, but I hope to do most of it then. So it's really nice to have the sunshine out this morning and today is set to be quite a warm day. I think here in West Yorkshire we're going to get up to something like 19 degrees. 19 degrees! Amazing! So I hope to spend some time in the garden. I don't really have a choice. <laughs> this is my exercise for today and I'm glad you're here. So it's been really difficult getting the uh, base weight of my pack down. When I packed it the first time with everything that I thought that I would need, it was uh, 20 kilograms. And now I have managed to get the base weight. That's just what I need, not camera equipment. Uh, so it does whack up a little bit when, well a lot, when I get the camera equipment in. But the camera equipment is essential. I do want to vlog all the way and bring you guys with me. So I've managed to get it down to uh, 6.5 kilograms now, which is great. So just to let you know, my uh, camera equipment actually weighs in at 5 kilograms, which almost doubles my backpack in weight. How much does your camera equipment weigh? Don't tell me you've got a GoPro 8. I've just got rid of mine. <laughs> uh, I'm on the G9, the Lumix G9, and I am enjoying this camera. It's way better than the uh, Hero 8. But it does weigh in at quite a heavy amount. The batteries are big, the body's big, the lenses are big, but uh, all for good quality. Now, just two weeks ago, when we all still had our freedom, I did my first wild camp of 2020 up on Black Hill. So I was up on Black Hill there, and it was absolutely freezing. I wasn't alone, I brought my lass with me, and she was clever enough to uh, bring her uh, 200 quids worth of uh, barber coat. It was a, almost a full length coat. So she was really toasty and warm, and I was freezing, freezing cold using my uh, basic Yellowstone like quilt uh, sleeping bag. As you guys have said all along, when you've got your gear together, you've just got to get out there and uh, get on with it, and then you learn. So I did learn from the Black Hill experience that I needed a warmer sleeping bag, but it still had to be lightweight and uh, packed down to a small size. I'm gonna have to do all the rest of the learning in my back garden, I think, but uh, I will get there. Really still hoping and uh, feeling positive about actually doing this coast to coast in September this year, 2020. It would never be this quiet here normally. There are some pluses to this uh, lockdown. It's so quiet. I'm so close to where I live. I can actually hear a woodpecker over in the distance. See if you can hear it. I can wait. We can wait. It's nice and peaceful. I'm going to take you up here to a little bit of a derelict farm area. Have a look around in there. So the woodpecker's decided it doesn't want to be in the vlog, so we'll continue. near warm enough up there on Black Hill in my cheap Yellowstone sleeping bag. So that brings me to the Van Gogh 200 Pro. 
I was really surprised with everything that's going on in the world, how fast this uh, sleeping bag arrived. So I was keen to use it and I did test it a couple of days ago in my back garden and it was an open sky and the temperature did plummet to uh, sub-zero. So it was a really good test. So I'm going to uh, just have a look around this uh, farmyard, this old farmyard with you and I'll show you some uh, pictures as well of the Van Gogh 200 Pro as, uh, as I tell you a little bit more about it. So it's a three season mummy shaped sleeping bag which means it's great for uh, spring and autumn nights. It's obviously got a hood and it's got extra lining around the shoulders as well and a two way zip that doesn't snag, it doesn't snag on the rest of the bag, great zip and that's really handy for when you want to unzip it if you take it out in the summer and you get too hot. We know that the uh, more expensive sleeping bags are made from this down, they're filled with down and this sleeping bag really feels as though it is down, it's really soft and fluffy and you could easily mistake it for a down sleeping bag but it's not, it's filled with synthetic fibre. And the reason it feels so fluffy is because of the uh, special 4T synthetic uh, filling that it's got and that traps air within it in these channels I think that's a patented uh, channel system that Van Gogh do and that keeps the warmth in I think the synthetic uh, technology has really come a long way now it really does keep you warm and one of the other pluses with the synthetic over the down is that uh, if it gets damp you don't have to uh, worry about it too much because the down sleeping bags are really expensive and if they get damp wet in any way you do have to dry them in a certain way uh, before you pack them and uh, yeah they're, they're a little bit more delicate really well a lot more delicate and a lot more expensive so yeah the synthetic uh, technology has come a long way now it really does keep you warm and in the, the UK we get plenty of rain so it's going to work out for me I'm sure. There's a little pocket inside as well, inside the sleeping bag where you can keep a torch or maybe your phone. So that's pretty handy. They have thought this thing through. So when I put the Van Gogh 200 Pro back into its custom stuff sack, I was really pleased with how small you could make the package because it's got cinches all the way around and all you've got to do is keep pressing it down and pushing the air out and keep cinching it up as you go along and uh, it ended up a really small package so I was really pleased with that. Now as I said earlier I, uh, I did test out this uh, sleeping bag in my back garden a couple of nights ago and I was also testing out the uh, Rab Ridge Raider bivy bag but that's for another vlog. So as you see I'm trying to get this uh, weight down of my backpack. It was a moonlit night in old Mexico. No, it was a moonlit night that night uh, when I slept out in the garden with uh, no cloud cover and uh, the temperature did plummet and my first impressions when I got into the bag was really warm and I didn't even have it zipped up, I was just uh, sort of lying within it and I could instantly feel how warm compared to the cheap Yellowstone uh, that this bag was. Now I will say that the bag was a perfect fit for me when I got inside it. I'm just over five foot nine and uh, you know, if you were if you're a little bit taller, I think you would you would maybe struggle, maybe want a longer bag. So I think maybe if you're getting over uh, five foot ten, you might want to consider a longer bag. So it was perfect for me though. As the temperature dropped that night, I could really feel the benefit of the design and the uh, technology in the synthetic fibre trapping in the heat. And as I zipped it up and uh, pulled the cinches around the hood and around the special baffle around your shoulders, uh, it really did keep the warmth in. The bag really took on a whole new feel. So uh, I really did feel the quality then. I was so happy. Were you really that happy, Rob? Can you be really that excited and happy about sleeping bag? Yes, you can when you spend a night up on Black Hill freezing cold and then another one in the garden freezing cold and you're considering doing a coast to coast, uh, you really do uh, get a little bit excited about the sleeping bag. So I hope this is helping some of you that are in the market for a new sleeping bag. So I definitely feel like I've uh, chosen the right bag for me. The Van Gogh 200 Pro is something that I think you could definitely use in uh, spring and autumn when the nights are a little bit colder. And in the summer, I think you'll just be lying on top of it. So what's coming up on my channel? Well, uh, there's going to be lots more vlogs from the garden, I think. And uh, of course, I will be uh, giving you my thoughts on the Rab Ridge Raider, which is a bivy bag. And I'm considering taking that on the uh, coast to coast with me. So it's going to be a bit of a competition between the Van Gogh 200 Pro uh, lightweight tent and the Rab Ridge Raider bivy bag. Which one is going to come on the coast to coast with me? So I will be doing a vlog very soon on the Rab Ridge Raider, telling you what I feel about it.
haven't managed to get out of my garden with it and uh, maybe I won't for some time. So I'll do what I can in the garden. A price of £65, which is what I paid brand new on Amazon and weighing in at uh, 1.1 kilograms, just over a kilogram in weight and packing down so small, the pack size is really small when you cinch it all up. Um, I can really recommend this uh, bag. Good quality, good design and uh, really warm. And of course you can adjust the uh, zip and the baffles to cool you down. So I think it's a really good choice. So we're near the end of the walk now. And I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to you all for continuing to support my channel and watch my channel. And uh, I hope even if you haven't got the slightest interest in a sleeping bag, you have enjoyed the walk. I appreciate you being with me. Oh yes, I would have been all by myself. So yeah, that's it for this one. If you have enjoyed it, and I hope you have, give me a like and consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every week. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.